Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm gonna to react to the first time you realize that America messed you up. Now, this should be fun because it's gonna be getting the perspective of Americans who have moved to another country and realized that something that something about their upbringing maybe was a little bit off. Like I reacted to a video similar to this about, about a month ago about how culture shocked Americans like felt like reacting to culture shock. I'm hoping this one's gonna be just as uh, informative and entertaining. So yeah, let's do it. If you're an American currently living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really so I've been living in New Zealand for the last four years and at work there was an American flag and I jokingly went and put my hand over my heart and said the Pledge of Allegiance and everyone was kind of like, what is that? And I was like, oh, it's a, it's a Pledge of Allegiance. So basically growing up every day at school at like nine o'clock or whatever, we would all stand up and the whole class would recite the Pledge of Allegiance with our hands over our hearts to the American flag in the corner of the room. And my coworkers were like, what? <laughs> you know, when you say it out loud, it sounds a bit culty. <laughs> that, yeah, to be fair, I think that, I think America might be the only country I know of that does that. It's, it's quite, quite unique. Patriotic, but yeah. An American currently living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really- So when I was in high school, I was a lifeguard, and during my lifeguard training, they taught us that before we even administer first aid or CPR, we had to ask for consent to avoid being sued. Wow. I fast forward a couple of years, and I'm in London as a waitress, and my company sends me to go do CPR training. And while I'm there, they go over the same stuff that I learned in the States, but I notice that they're completely glossing over this one particular area. So I raise my hand and I ask, uh, what are the laws here? Like, how do you avoid being sued if something goes wrong? To which every single person in the room starts laughing at me. Oh, it man. Says, oh, you're American, right? Yeah, no one here is going to sue you for trying to save their life. An American currently. That one is just ridiculous. I mean, so. That person would rather die? What? Living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really met? So uh, in the US, I, I regularly get pneumonia. Sometimes I get like pneumonia and bronchitis, but pretty much all, you know, like clock, clockwork, I get it. Um, I had just moved to Scotland for my master's and I was coming down with a respiratory infection like I do every year. It was just the early onset of pneumonia, but like normally I wait to the point of where I'm like literally unable to breathe before I go to the doctor because it's expensive in the U.S. Well, here I was like, you know what? I'm here. I paid for the NHS. Let me, let me go get it. Saw a doctor, gave me a prescription. I went to the pharmacy to pick up my medication, something that I literally would not be able to afford with my minimum wage job and being a full-time student. What? They gave it to me for free because it was necessary, and I almost cried in the pharmacy. <laughs> like tears were welling in my eyes. This one time that made you realize that America oh, really man. messed you up. Okay, so, okay, so I live in New York. I can't now, believe but I used that. To live in England, and one time I was out at this bar with my friends, and these two cops walked by. And one of my friends was like, "Oh, I wonder why there are cops out right now." And I looked at the cops, and I got really confused. And I was like, "Those are cops." And my friends were like, <laughs> "Yeah." And I was like, they're not, they don't have guns. And everyone was like, why, why would they have guns? They were like so aghast at that question. And I was realized in that moment that, and learned that guns, there are so few guns in the UK and it's such not an issue that like the everyday cop does not carry a gun. Yeah. And I was just, there are houses in America that have seen more guns in them than a fresh vegetable. <laughs> it blew my fucking mind. I think about it all the time. Yeah. I hate guns so much. I hate guns so much. If you're an American currently living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really- In the US, I could not let my 11 year old son go outside and play by himself. Someone would call the cops or something would legitimately happen to him. And so mm -hmm. there was no way. And when I moved to Germany, my husband, who's a German national, suggested that he go outside and play by himself because we would not have to worry. If you're wow. an American currently living it's abroad, mind -blowing, what is one honestly. time that made you realize that America really... So I didn't realize this until I moved abroad, but Americans have a very strange concept of freedom. 
like when you're growing up you're always told that america is such an amazing place and you know it's the land of the free home of the brave but um like i keep hearing these criticisms from people like oh yeah but america has the most freedom wow well, yeah freedom i mean there may be a few exceptions or nuances but in the uk you're still free like that is the biggest lie that americans are ever told that there aren't other free places like i just don't i don't understand and if i'm being perfectly honest i feel like the concept is kind of destroying american democracy how ironic like they mm. need to kind of understand that they need to work on things to make themselves better and more free for their citizens american currently living abroad interesting observation like when people say america's like the land of the free what do you guys actually mean by that like what things can you do in america that you can't do in other developed nations like england france germany you know i'd love to know like you know are there certain things that are unique apart from being able to own you know a firearm like yeah let me know Rod, what is one time that made you realize that america really messed you up okay so i'm not currently living abroad but i did live in australia for a few months and one night while I was there, I got a little bit too crazy and I ended up on public transportation without a phone. Um, and I had to find my way back to my apartment and I got lost. Um, and while I got off the tram to get onto a different tram to take me home, um, a like middle-aged gentleman came up to me and I immediately went into attack mode and I was like going to kill him. Why? And he was like, no, no, no. I was just going to tell you which tram to take to get back to Preston. Mm. <laughs> and that was when I realized that in Australia, I didn't need to be afraid. Like granted, take precautions, but I didn't need to be afraid of every man. But in America, I still am. If you're an American. <sighs> Do you really need to be like women who are watching this? Like, do you share her attitude? Do you like, if a stranger walks up to you, are you like instantly kind of on guard? Or is this quite a sort of unique thing to her? Living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America... So I don't live abroad anymore, but for half of 2018, I lived in Germany and I have so many stories. The town that I lived in had like a main plaza area and there was a cafe in that plaza. So a couple of my other American friends and I decided to try it out one day and there was a construction site nearby. We heard a really loud bang and you know, we kind of assumed that someone had fired a gun. And so we like ducked for cover and then we were looking around frantically trying to find like a place that we could run to or hide to get out of the situation. And then we realized that no one had shot a gun. No, it was a loud bang from the construction site. That's it. That's all it was. We'd been speaking in English and we all have really obvious American accents. So all the Germans around us gave us these really sad looks like, oh, these poor, poor Americans. <laughs> An American currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you? Okay, so I moved to Sweden. And when I got here, I wasn't feeling too well, so I went to the doctor, and the doctor recommended that I get an EKG, an electrocardiogram. Now, instead of worrying about my health, my first reaction was, um, I'm sorry, I don't know if I can get one of those, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford it. Mm. And this sweet little man, this sweet, amazing doctor, goes, um, did you not, did you not pay the, like, $20 when you got here? <laughs> um, I ended up getting a... EK, like a regular EKG, a 24 hour long EKG, a blood test, and a freaking checkup for $20! <laughs> the best part of this entire situation is, is that uh, I'm getting better and I am getting the medical attention I need without going broke! Just <laughs> one time then. Guys, would you rather keep the healthcare system you've got now or would you rather swap to a more European style system? I'd love to like do a little poll here. Like, let me know made you realize that America really messed you up. I pride myself on being an American. I didn't make it out before COVID, but I went to Norway and I fell in love with Norway, I read about it, researched it. And I was like, I've got to visit first. And I only went for a week and it was for the Infernal Metal Festival. And for the first time in my life, I was actually called an American. What? They didn't assume where I was from. What does and she there mean? Was this beautiful Norwegian elder, and she says, "Go paska," and I said, "Betlager, jeg litnorsk," and I said, basically, she said, "Happy Easter," and I said, "I'm sorry, I don't speak a lot of Norwegian," and she goes, "Oh, you're an American," 
and she didn't worry about her purse. She didn't look at me sideways. Whoa. And I cried. I cried when I left because for the first time, I was able to be just an American. I didn't what? even hardly drink, didn't do anything crazy. If you're an American... Whoa, that, that's actually kind of mind-blowing. So, so what, so I'm guessing she, in America, she feels like she's just kind of an, uh, like an African-American as opposed to just an American. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting that there's that distinction there. Currently living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really... So during the first lockdown, um, we have an elderly neighbor and we would go and check in on her every once in a while and like get her groceries if she needed. And progressively, she started not be able to breathe very well. And we knew it wasn't COVID because she had it before. But, like, at one point, it was, like, she couldn't even get to the door without, like, literally not being able to breathe and having to sit down. So, my partner decided that we needed to call an ambulance for her and get her to the hospital pronto. And when he told me that he was going to call an ambulance, the first thing that I said was, are you sure? I, can she afford an ambulance? Like, we, we could just drive her. And it wasn't until my partner looked at me, like... <laughs> and that it clicked that oh that's not a worry here and then yeah. i went upstairs and cried because it really smacked me in the face that as americans we are conditioned to not worry about someone's health first yeah, but to worry crazy. about whether or not they can financially afford to see yeah. a doctor it's crazy and get to help. an american yeah. currently living abroad what is one time that made you realize that america really messed you so I moved to Germany in 2018 as a study abroad student, and I had a nice apartment that was on the ground floor with a nice patio, a big door that opened that led to the patio. And I was minding my own business in bed one day. The door was wide open. I had my noise canceling headphones on, and I heard these really loud banging noises coming from outside that weren't very far. And I'm like, that's not a firework or a firecracker. It can't shots, be. Right? I freak out because as an American, I'm like, I'm about to get shot. Somebody's <laughs> shooting up all of the student oh, apartments right wow. now. So I call all of my friends and I'm like, did you hear that? Am I crazy? Do we need to call the police and whatever? And they're like, I don't know, but yeah, maybe call your boyfriend who's German and like ask him. So I call my boyfriend and I'm like, watching, we just heard this stuff. Like what's going on? And he's like, not to worry. Here in Germany, we don't have shooters. Those are probably just firecrackers. And I'm just like, I'm damaged. Like we are all damaged and freaking out about freaking firecrackers. We think we're going to get shot up. God, what is one time that made you realize that America- It's a bit of a really recurring theme, up. isn't it? Hey, I live in Ireland and I've lived most of my adult life here. I moved to Ireland in 1995. My teenage daughter was born here many years ago. And when she was born, I spent two nights in hospital before she was born. I had an emergency cesarean section and then I spent a further six nights afterwards. The total cost to me was zero. I kept asking them like, are you sure no one wants my credit card? Like, <laughs> Do you want my details so you can send me the bill? And they would just like laugh, like, oh, you're American. There's no bill. So eight nights in hospital, emergency procedure, zero bill. Mm. American currently living abroad. What is one time? What more can you say, you know? America what more really can I say? Okay, I have another one. Um, when I was studying in Spain, we had our orientation the first week of classes, um, and our program director sat us all down and had to explain our health insurance to us and how it worked. And basically it worked that you paid. And guys, this isn't to say that, you know, the UK or Europe as a whole is better than America, because there's probably things that America does, you know, that are better than what we have here in Europe. But I do think that, I do think the healthcare system in the US maybe needs a bit of reform in some way. Um, obviously I don't live there, so I'm not, I don't, I don't have firsthand experience of it. But I just don't think that if you get a, you know, a disease like cancer, you know, that's completely out of your control, you know, most of the time, I know that some people, their diet and things like that can contribute to it. But I don't think you should be able to, I don't think you should go bankrupt, you know, to try and treat your disease. You know, do you, do you guys disagree with that? I just, I don't know. Like a thousand euro for the semester and you've got health insurance like free health insurance for everything, covered everything. Um, and she had to sit us down and she had this big group of Americans in a room and she was like, listen, if you are sick, go to the doctor. And we were all like, yes. And she was like, no, like Americans don't go to the doctor. You won't go to the doctor when you're sick. So I have to tell you every year to do this and still kids will just put off going to the doctor because you're used to just like pushing through illness, no matter what it is. I don't care if it's a cold, 
go to the doctor. And she had to actually like spell that out for us. What's a really weird thing that your body does that you're not sure anybody else's body does? Since I was a little kid, I've been able to do this with my hands. Um, basically, I can crack all my fingers um, all the time, anytime. Watch. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> Jeez. It starts hurting after a while, but yeah. Rich Mom Starter Pack, Brooklyn Edition. So you and your indie movie director husband are loaded. You're too intellectual. Okay, I think uh, that video is genuinely fascinating. The two big recurring themes are the, you know, relative absence of, of firearms by citizens and police here in Europe, and also the uh, national healthcare services that you know, European countries uh, usually provide. Um, it's it's tough for me to speak on it because, like I mentioned, I don't I've I've never lived in the U.S., so I've not experienced the advantages of of living there. But it does seem from stuff I hear and read online on Reddit and stuff, I think mo a lot of Americans. I'm not sure if most would prefer a national health service. You know, like I pay two hundred. How much do I pay? about 200 pounds a month for my for as my national healthcare contributions um and that's I, I, it doesn't really i'm happy to pay that you know because it's not that much money for me I, and you know it covers everything like unlimited you know surgeries doctor visits you know everything i need healthcare wise is is completely covered i don't have to do any there's no more money for me to pay after that like, would you guys prefer that to what you have? And please explain how the current system works in the US. Like, you know, do you pay a set amount and, you, and everything is covered or do you have to pay more for certain things? Yeah, please let me know. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.